Ah, the north shore of the island of Oahu. In the Hawaiian Pro, the flags are blowing the right direction. We've got quartering offshore to offshore conditions for our final heat of the day. It's round number two, heat number two. Be sure and stick around for the post shows. You'll see the best of the best coming up shortly. 25 minute heats, Mitch Colburn takes to the water. He's wearing red. He's your top seed, number 19 in the world. Vasco Hebedo, the current and defending WSL. Allianz World Junior Champion won that title last year. He'll defend that title, maybe. Well, no, he's 20 years of age. I think he's out of it in Portugal in 2016 for the 2015 title. During the break, we were taking a look at Vasco Hebedo. Yeah, Vasco coming off a huge result, making the semifinals in a CT in Portugal in his home country. Uh, that was massive for him, gave him a lot of confidence that will translate over to the QS Tour. Just a couple of nice little snaps there for Vashko, but coming unstuck on that last turn. They really do, and uh, you know, I guarantee he's gonna be energized by Italo and his performance on tour. Well, we take a look, he is busy, long wall ahead, and he gets out of it. You really gotta cut your losses short. If you decide to straighten out or a sloppy pullout, it's just gonna be that much harder to get back in the lineup and get on another wave. Surfer in yellow, we saw him early on. Timothy Bisso from uh, Hussegor, France, basically St. Francois, Guadeloupe. Wow, what a delicate a kind of balancing act off the top there. Well, he had the, uh, a really nice snap to start with, threw some spray, and uh, because that wave closed out, he decided to float the boat. So two pretty solid maneuvers there. Mitch Colburn's rated way up there. He is 19th on a QS, so he has got a great chance to qualify for the World Championship Tour. And there's uh, Biso, just a nice little floater. Should be a mediocre score. With a 5.7, and, and right now I competed a 5.10, and I feel my body a little bit bigger. I think tomorrow I'm gonna compete with a 5.8. <laughs> insane surf spots and off in the back we saw the highest mountain just over 4,000 feet here uh, the YNI range a surfer in blue Tiago we haven't talked much about this surf. I think he is a wild card CT seat to get into this event good to have him here the 35 year old from Portugal it is it up and I'll tell you a land of many waves and great talent is the 35 year old Portuguese Tiger now here is Vasco Ribeiro and he is from Portugal from Estoril which is basically uh, Cascais area, just mm -hmm. inland. I guess maybe not inland. It's just that whole coastline there. It's got these little communities. Right. Estoril is absolutely beautiful as well. Insane. Such a gem. And you know what? Portugal is representing hard right now. And speaking of representing, watch this carve right here. I'm absolutely in love with this turn. Slice of heaven right there. Beautiful turn from Tiago. And he backs it up with a series of snaps. This is a really well-served wave from Tiago. I know it's just a medium-sized wave, but he absolutely tore the bag out of it. So, you know, what a way to get on the board there from Tiago. His fellow countryman right here, Dave. Vasco, again, making the semifinals in a CT in Portugal. Amazing result for him. A couple of amazing snaps. And we saw how well Frederico Marias did in a, a, just a few heats ago this morning. So Portugal is representing hard. Well, we're going to take a quick break. The city, unfortunately, we lost a legend in our sport who used to try to surf out there, Alex Cook. He passed away. Uh, but uh, I'd say this heat's going out to Alex and Ace Cool. Mm -hmm. I like that. Ace Cool, a little tribute to him. Yeah, very sad. Just uh... And for this event, as we take a look at Swells marching through in the finals, $82,000. In the finals, if you win it, you get 40 grand and a lot of points. Good way to go. Mitch Colburn needs a score. He's got a .83. Colburn on his backhand. Powerhouse surfer, Maruchador, the Sunshine Coast of Australia. Who? what a great hit. Gets out there vertical. As a couple more turns to the inside, now unleashes. Like the idea of Timothy Bissell looking to better at .6. Oh, what a huge, he buries half his board in the water. Another big move, close out section. Bissell's gonna try to get out of this. No, he's gonna get one more hit. I thought he'd pull out and go for a paddle battle. Next up, surfer in blue, Tiago Perish. He opened with a 7.33. Here's the veteran at 35 years young from Portugal. Gotta love his uh, go-to at attitude. In terms of experience, he's got it all. He spent, well, he spent seven years on the World Championship Tour, 2008 to 2004. Guess what? Tiago paved the way. He, you know, he, he really, did. you know, showed his fellow surfers from Portugal that it's possible to make a career on a CT Tour. And here we go, Mitch Colburn on his backhand. Series of maneuvers here. Quick floating turn to get back out to the open face. And you can see he's happy with this finish right here. Just a little 
body language there, you know, and that's a decent way to open up his campaign. He's only got nine minutes left, though, so he really left himself with not that much time to get two scoring waves. I love that under-the-lip gaff there from Bisso, representing Guadalupe, uh, but just the one major maneuver, so that's going to keep the score just on a medium side. Ow! Looks like he almost ran over Mitch there. Yeah. And then we did see Tiago with his second wave. Well, look how clean the face is here. You know he was looking for that open face to rip into one of those famous Tiago carves, but he got handcuffed. That wave reached the inside toilet bowl really quick and uh, wasn't able to produce any of those big turns. He wants to hear that he's in the lead. And right now they're saying he is, except we got a couple of scores coming through. Mitch opened up with a .83. He's got a second wave score. It comes in at a 6.90. Tiago's got a second wave score to come through. And Timothy Bisso. Bisso's got a 5.0, and he needs a 2.74 to go to second. Not sure to take the lead, but looks like he's going to get a solid two-wave total, and he could be challenging for the top spot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, that current starts ripping once it gets a little bit bigger, but right now it's calm. Fourth priority, he's got to back off. Second priority, our surfer in blue, Thiago, still waiting for his second-wave score. Hopefully he didn't twist his ankle. Something did not work out for him on that wave. First priority surfer in white. He's your heat leader at this. Well, was your heat leader. Right now, Tiago jumps up into the lead with that 4-7-0. Here's Bisso. He's in second now. He's trying to replace a 5-0. And you go, do these surfers know all these numbers? Yes, they are listening very close. It's communications. Wow, sharp. And he turns on a dime. Watch that inside rail. Right there, just crisp hook off the top. And this one's even better. Bango. Got to even a little bit of fins, but I love that he kept some grip. You can see how energized Bisso is. That was a very well-surfed wave. As we take a look at Timothy Bisso, wave number five. He's your heat leader trying to better a 6.70, the goofy footer out of the Caribbean. Oh, just about misses it. Back foot comes off just a bit. Late hits on his backhand. Going for three. Throwing a lot of control there right there. Throws the fins. The judges came in in a 6.77. So that's got him in the first place, Dave. Uh, but he got a little squirrely on this wave. Mix it up, see the fins set free, and here we go, live action. Live action, our surfer in white is currently in the third, the world junior champion for 2014. Vasco Ibedo goes down. Next wave with priority is our surfer in red. It's Mitch Colburn. He's got a 6.90. He needs a 5.14 to move up to second. Boy, interesting one there. I think he got stuck at the bottom, kind of buried a rail there. Well, we can only guess if it was pressure, if it was just a simple mistake, maybe some sun in his eyes. That's notorious here at Hollywood in the afternoon. I can tell you that sun is right in your eyes when you're bottom turning. He's trying to hold off Vasco Hibeto and Mitch Colburn. Timothy Bisso out in front right now, our surfer out of living in Hossegor, France, representing Guadeloupe, GLP, the goofy footer that is 18 years of age wearing the yellow singlet. Surfer in blue has first priority. Let's see if Tiago is going to keep those other guys off this wave. He can play offense or defense, but he can't paddle and then he, back off. Watch this. It's going to be critical. To, he's trying to position himself for this wave. This is a beautiful set here, Dave. And he's out of position for that one. You can see Vasco trying to rip in. A gift for Vasco Hebedo. He could overtake Tiago. He needs a 5-2-7, and he comes down. And a face plant on the face of that wave, not a good thing. Once again, still with priority, our surfer in blue. And he's going to give this one up to Mitch Colburn. Colburn with a 145 on the clock, needs a 514. What's happening out there? Well, that was very smooth from Tiago Perez. Veteran move, letting that closeout go. That wave looked like maybe it was a five, but he had to take the chance of letting it go. And guess what? It was the right decision. Bisso's got second priority. He's your heat leader in yellow. Let's see if... Tiago to the inside of Bisso, Letting and Tiago's really smart, but he's going to give this one away. Let's take a look. Both surfers chasing it out. Our surfer in white, Vasco Ibedo, needs a 5-2-7. Nice hit, close out section. Oh, is that a 5? And playing cat and mouse, it's time to step up to the plate and hit a home run. Here is Tiago Perez. Big turn right there. He's trying to better a 4-7-0 in a scoreline. And he hopes that that is the last way Britt just about runs over Vasco. Here we go, Mitch Colburn with 28 seconds on the clock. Needs a 5.14. Mitch to the inside, the toilet bowl. So much on this wave. Couple wow. more hits. 
Colburn needing a 5-1 for Canacy the score. This is a heavy transaction right here. Tiago Perez, keep in mind, he's trying to get rid of a 4.7. So, you know, the math right now says Mitch only needs a 5.14, but that depends on the score about to drop from Tiago. Double horn means we have ended competition. Round number two, heat number two. This is the last event, the last heat of the day. We do have the big post show coming up, but coming in right now, surfers don't know exactly what happened. Did Colburn get the score? Did Hibeto get the score? And what about Tiago? Here's Mitch there, Colburn's wave. Here's Mitch, pressure cooker right here. Floater, sketchy landing right there. Nice little fin chuck there. I, I like the fact that this wave didn't let him think too much. It was very quick, and I think that did him a favor because he just had to stay busy, and he, he fit together three decent turns on a nice little wave. Well, did this better at 470, this wave here? Classic power car from Tiago. I think it might better as four, and then he runs over a couple competitors. Portuguese surfer, ever to surf the QS and then make it onto the world tour. Seven years on the world championship tour, 35-year-old Tiago Pettis gets a 727, takes the lead. However, we've got a couple more scores. Let's see what Mitch Colbert now. A lot of pressure in that heat. Remember, his second to last wave, he fell on a really uh, a wave that had a lot of potential. Well, it looks like he gets a 5.87, and that'll get him uh, a little bit more money in points. He's angry. He, uh, he went down, so he's going to have to lay it all in at sunset. We're going to take a quick break, I believe, and remember, stay with us. we got the post show.